Hi, good morning everyone. Today I want to talk about something that is pretty important, I feel. I want to talk about the importance of your feelings. My goodness, you know, there are so many of us that we don't allow ourselves to feel the truth. Sometimes we're upset, sometimes we're angry, sometimes we're rageful, sometimes we're happy, sometimes we're joyful. And one of the things that I know so many of us worry about is what is the impact those feelings are having on our body? You know, a lot of the times why we don't want to feel the bad feelings or the quote unquote bad feelings is not because of what other people are going to think about us. Yes, that's often a big part of it. But a lot of times we're scared to feel those feelings. We think that if we feel bad things, that bad things will happen to us. Bad things will happen to our body or bad things will happen in our relationships or with our jobs. Basically, bad things will come in the future if we think bad things or feel quote unquote bad things. What I want to, I guess, wake everyone up to in this video is the thoughts that you're having are just the thoughts that you're having and they're so important to listen to. Whether you feel they're good feelings or bad feelings, we want to be able to accept them. We want to be able to acknowledge them and embrace them. And why I'm saying this is because, um, well, what inspired this video is I'm working with someone who is really scared and terrified right now about a particular situation. And she's so worried about having the feelings that she's now beating herself up about having the feelings. Um, I'm sure all of us can relate to feeling like this at some point. And so let me tell you what I'm offering her right now, um, which is what I want to offer you in this video. The first thing that I'm saying to her is, give yourself permission to be human, please. I know that we want to be super women, super men, and be super perfect and not have these feelings, but the truth is we're having these feelings. So allow yourself to be human. If we fight the truth, we'll carry that along with us. You know, whatever we internalize, we carry with us. And whatever we express, whatever we allow to come out, we'll let go of and then we can move forward. So it's very, very important that we not fight the truth, but instead that we embrace the truth of our feelings. The second thing that I offered her that I want to offer you is you really need to find a safe place for these feelings once you acknowledge them. And sometimes that's working with someone like myself, a coach, a spiritual love coach, or an energy healer, or someone someone you can talk to, someone that you can share these, these feelings with. If it's not a coach, maybe it's your partner if they have the capacity and the depth to be able to hold your feelings without trying to coach you or do something about it, that, that's another great place to go to. And it may also be a best friend, essentially a safe place, someone that you can trust. Sometimes a journal works. I, I do recommend a journal, but depending on the situation, sometimes it's just really better to have that human contact, that human energy to really absorb some of that worry, okay? And then the third thing that I offer to her that I want to offer to you in this video is put on your love lesson lenses. So oftentimes when we're dealing with some worry or some concern or a particularly tough situation or feelings that we don't want to feel anymore, you know, we'll think to ourselves, God, why is this happening to me? Am I being punished? Did I do something wrong? For those of you who believe in karma, you'll say things like, God, this is part of my karmic debt, or, you know, I, you know, I'm being punished. Anyway, whatever it is, it's not usually the most empowering context or way to think about why this is happening to you, okay? And so when I'm telling you to put on your love lesson lenses, what I'm asking you to do is look at your worries, look at your concerns, look at your fears from the perspective that there is a love lesson here. There is something... For you to learn about loving yourself, about loving someone else involved in the situation, about loving the world, the planet. There's a love lesson here and that the only reason that you would be experiencing these feelings or the situation is because there's something really beautiful. There's a diamond in the rough. 
And I promise you that when you start to look at the situation from, from that perspective, that you'll see new things that you didn't see before, that the love that you want to experience will begin to emerge, and the solutions that you're seeking will just start to unfold. It's almost like magic. It's like, it's like magic starts to happen. So those are the three things that I want to offer you uh, in this video, is to really just allow yourself to experience your feelings. Please don't numb them. Please don't beat yourself up for having the feelings. Please don't say things like I shouldn't or this is wrong. I really, it's so important to me that everybody just loves themselves and has a great deal of compassion for themselves and for other people um, when we're experiencing feelings that may not be feelings that are widely accepted or feelings that are a little bit uncomfortable for us. So I hope that this video has made a huge difference for you. And um, if you feel that it will make a huge difference for other people, please share it because, you know, we need to share the love. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next.